My name is Giles Mooney. I'm one of the directors at Absolute Accounting Software. And we are very well known for a range of software, but in particular, our Excel VAT filer software. Pretty much everybody, I think, now knows that making tax digital is the way which we uh, deal with VAT in the UK. And a lot of people seem to think that the only way that can be done is by having end-to-end -end bookkeeping software. Well, it's simply not the case. At Absolute, we have developed our Excel VAT filer, which is a bridging software. The idea of bridging software is that if you want to keep using your Excel spreadsheet to deal with your VAT computations and what have you, you can enter your various sales, enter your various expenses, and then our software will help you take those numbers from your Excel and file them with the revenue, meeting all the requirements of making tax digital in a system that is far simpler for many people than going to the expense of having a full end-to-end -end bookkeeping product. Interestingly, we also have some household names, actually, as clients who have chosen to use our bridging software alongside their very complicated, bespoke-built bookkeeping software that they have for internal use. Massive companies will use their own uh, product for their day-to-day -day bookkeeping, and then we'll be able to produce an Excel file from that, which can then be used with bridging software to file. Since MTD for VAT first came in, where we have seen a huge number of people uh, buying Excel VAT filer with now in the region of 15,000 users. In fact, recent revenue statistics tell us that pretty much 5% of all VAT returns filed are filed using our Excel VAT filer. The best way to understand it is to see it. So what I'm gonna do now is hand over to our support team who will lead you through the process and how it actually works for you and potentially for your clients, if you have clients or perhaps just for your own books and records. Have a look and at the end you'll find information about how to contact us should you wish to do so. Today I wanted to show you how easy it is to use the Absolute Excel VAT filer software. It is an Excel based bridging package which is designed to link to any existing Excel spreadsheet. This means it can be used if you log your transactions into Excel or if you have a bookkeeping package where the data can then be exported into an Excel spreadsheet. Following the Making Tax Digital regulations, it is no longer possible to manually complete the VAT return or copy and paste, so the software provides a digital link to your existing spreadsheets, allowing you to then file online the VAT return to HMRC. This digital link is provided using either link cells or link import sheet within the VAT filer software. Today I will show you how both of these options work. To use link cells, you just need to have your VAT filer software open along with your cash book. And this cash book can be either the one that you log your transactions directly into or what has been exported from your bookkeeping software. All you would then do is you would click into the business name field in the next blank row of the VAT filer software and then you would click on to link cells. This will then open a smaller window asking you to select the cell with the business name. From here, you would bring up the cash book, click into the business name box, click on OK, and that information then feeds back across onto the VAT filer spreadsheet. You would then click into the VAT number, and again, you would just bring up your cash book, click into the cell that contains the VAT number, and click on OK. You would then choose your start date. Again, I'm just clicking into the cell that's got the start date on the cash book, and then I will repeat the process for the end date. Once done, I can then work my way through the nine boxes of the VAT return. So again, I would just then bring up my cash book, click into the cell for box one, click on OK, and then I will repeat that for box three. If any of the boxes on the VAT return are not applicable to you as a business, then you can just leave the box blank. All the software will then do is once you click to say that you've finished linking, is it will then populate the entries with a zero and this is then what will be transmitted online to HMRC. So for example, if I then click into box six, I can then choose box six on my cash book, and then I can go back to the VAT filer, click into box seven, and then again, choose box seven and click on OK. Once done, all I need to do at the end of the row is click on to finish, and this will then populate the row with the entries from the cash book and the boxes that I didn't link will then show zero values and these are then what is transmitted online to HMRC. 
The second option for creating the digital link for the VAT file software is to use the link import sheet option, which is designed to be used by more confident users of Excel. All you would need to do is download the import sheet from your online client portal, and you can then embed this into your cash book, allowing you to link the values of the cash book into the import sheet to then import directly into the VAT file software. So to do this, you would open up the import sheet and you would right click to select to move a copy and then you would choose your cash book and you would say to create a copy. And what this then does is within your cash book, it produces an additional tab for import worksheet. What you then need to do is using Excel formula, you need to link it across to the values in your cash book. So for example, if I'm in the VAT number, I can say equals and then from the cash book, I can choose the cell that's got the VAT number and then I can just repeat that for each of the boxes. It does just allow you then, if you've got the values of one box split across multiple cells in your cash book, you can tell the Excel formula to link that across so that you then get a total within the import worksheet. So you would just work your way through, populate any of the cells. In the VAT file spreadsheet itself, you would then again click into the business name box on the next blank available row and you would click link import sheet. This will then open up a browse window so you would just browse to your cash book, click onto that and then this will feed the data across onto the row on the VAT return tab showing you what would then be transmitted online to HMRC. Once you have finished linking the VAT file or spreadsheet to your cash book, either using link cells or link import sheet, you would then choose the submit button, which will then take you through to the VAT return tab and it will show you the entries that you wish to file online to HMRC. You will have been provided with a username and password that needs to be entered into cells C29 and C30. And then from here, you would click on to submit VAT return and it opens up a final declaration window. These values you will need to check and assuming that you're happy with what you want to file online, you'd click on to confirm and finalise VAT return and then you click on to submit VAT return. The software at this stage will run a validation. So if any of the values are highlighted in red, you will need to amend them prior to submission. From here, you'd click submit VAT return and this will then redirect you to the HMRC website where you would then make the submission online. The first time you file, you will need to go through a two-step authentication where you grant authority for the software, which then lasts for 18 months. So to do this, you would scroll to the bottom of the page and click on to continue, and then it will ask you to log in. So at this stage, you need to enter your HMRC details linked to your Making Tax Digital for VAT account, or if you're filing as an agent, it needs to be your agent services account details. You would then click sign in, and then it will ask you to grant authority to view the VAT return information. So you click grant authority. And then this will redirect you to a further page on the HMRC website where you need to grant authority for a second time. So again, you would just scroll to the bottom of the page and click on continue. Rekey your username and password. And then you click sign in. And then this time you're saying grant authority to change your VAT information. And this will then submit the VAT return to HMRC. What then happens is it will return a successful submission and it will show you a processing date and the payment indicator that is recorded on the HMRC account. And there's also an option to download a receipt. So if you click onto this option, it will then allow you to open up a VAT receipt which will then show you the data that's being transmitted. So this will then agree with what appeared on the VAT file or spreadsheet. So you've got your business name, your VAT number, the period that you submitted for, and then the total values that have been submitted. This VAT receipt can then be saved for your records or a copy can be printed from there. So that is the VAT filer process from start to finish. Prices start from as little as £40 plus VAT for up to 10 unique traders. If you have any queries, please visit the website on www.absoluteexcelvatfiler.co.uk or email sales at absolutetax.co.uk or telephone 0330 057 9651.